Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome back to the channel, or welcome for the first time if you're new around here. My name is Widowed, aka James, and today, this is your aggressively mediocre player's guide to the grotesque guardians, also aka Dusk and Dawn. We are going to be using a melee and a range setup today, sorry Damien, not right now. Whatever your best melee and range gear is, bring it. I can't be asked with swaps for the Grotesque Guardians, so I just rock the Fighter Torso and the Crystal Legs together, and then all I have to worry about is my weapon swap with the offhand here. I've also got the Dragon Mace for a spec weapon. I prefer it to the Dragon Dagger in this particular boss, but yeah, you can... You can use the Dragon Mace if you don't have a zombie axe, it's a perfectly acceptable main weapon to use on, on a crush style against uh, the Grotesque Guardians. The only other thing you're going to need over the melee and range is a Rock Hammer, which you can get from any Slayer Master Rock Hammer. There's also Rock Throne Hammers, I've never used them, I think they're consumable version. And I would highly recommend the Gargoyle Smasher perk for 120 Slayer points which will automatically use the rock hammer when it is time to, so you don't have to manually do it when they get low. I will be using it during uh, this challenge, or not challenge, but video, and I recommend you do it too. To kill the Grotesque Guardians, you will need to be on a Slayer task, so you have to have a Gargoyle Slayer task, thankfully. I have one. Other than that, you also need a Brittle Key, which you get from the Gargoyles in the Slayer Tower, uh, if you kill them in you know, you'll get one, and you use that to unlock the roof of the Slayer Tower in Mauritania to access the boss. So there's plenty of ways to get there, personally I go with a South Graveyard Teleport from the POH. There's also a Fairy Ring right here if you prefer. This Stamina Potion that I bring with me in the invent is just so that I have it by the time I get there and I'm not completely out of energy. Careful of these guys if you're using the chain to get up here, because if you don't have a Slayer Helm or a Nose Peg on, they will drain your stats, so make sure you're wearing a Slayer Helm as you come past. Uh, these are the regular gargoyles, of course, that you kill to get the Brittle Key, and you unlock this gate to go through to the roof once you have it. If you die in here, that's where you reclaim your stuff from. Don't know if it charges you, I don't think I've died in here before. Alright, just a couple final things I want to say before we get into the boss and explain everything. One option you're definitely gonna want to have is... Where is it? Okay. Okay, so in the menu entry swapper plugin on Runelight, you're gonna want shift click walk here on. This means if you're pointing at a, a mob, and you hold shift, you will always yellow click underneath them instead of red clicking on the mob, which allows you to step under dusk, I believe it's dusk, and that is very useful in this fight, we're going to be using that to our advantage as a strategy, so you can sometimes like aim it at the edge of a tile so you're not actually pointing at them but you're still moving onto their space, but it's so much easier if you can just hold shift and walk under them. Definitely, definitely recommend having that on for this fight. It's going to be a massive advantage. And the other thing that I did more recently, this isn't necessary, but the custom menu swaps, if you have this line in here, uh, attack, that you, do, you only need the star before it if you have the option on that marks things with an asterisk that you're in combat with. Otherwise, you just can put normal dawn and normal dusk without the star before it. But yeah. That's not right. Wait, comma there. Okay, now it might actually work, hopefully. But yeah, if you put that line in, uh, it will make sure that you always target Dawn over Dusk, which is what we want, because if Dawn is targetable, if she's around, we can't hit Dusk anyway. And if she's not around, that's when we're hitting Dusk. Okay, enough jabbering, let's just pot up. Got the full super combat just spread out across those Iron Man rations and we are starting on ranged, gonna pray ranged and uh, eagle eye at the start, rigor if you have it of course and we're gonna start hitting dawn over here dusk has his shield up always start on dawn first, there's four phases to that fight if you saw the frost ball that she just shot then 
that isn't a, a tile that you have to like dodge and as you can see I keep yellow clicking to move under dusk here that's meaning that a lot of his melee attacks are being completely avoided okay the first phase is done this is moving very quickly we're moving on to dusk now second phase at four when he does that with his yellow wing you want to get the fuck away from him because he will hurt you very badly if you don't and dodge the rocks by at least one tile gap to make sure you don't get twatted. You can spec with your spec weapon on Dusk if you have it and you feel like it. I'll throw a couple in there. And when we get Dusk to half, that is when the third phase will begin uh, after a short interlude, which will be apparently obvious. He's probably going to do another yellow attack there. Yeah. Okay, so here's the interlude. We gotta dodge these things. They don't spawn again after that, so it's all good. We're back on our range style, and we're gonna start attacking Dawn again. It's the same as the first phase, except she's gonna spawn these three energy spheres, and you wanna get over to them as quickly as possible and absorb them. Otherwise, it's gonna heal her for quite a lot, and I can't, it may damage her as well, I'm not sure. Make sure our health is high, stay under dusk as much as possible. To mitigate his ability to hit us with melee attacks and keep attacking dawn until she goes down hopefully we get her down quick enough that we don't have another energy ball phase but if it's slow for you you might and then at the end the rock smasher perk just deals with the for us okay we have another brief interlude here and then we get knocked into a prison we just find the empty path and run straight out before we get twatted up for a 60 then we're going to start with Prairie Melee and hit the boss. He's actually attacking with range right now, so we're going to match him, swapping over. He has a 1 in 3 chance to swap, and a 2 out of 3 chance to stay the same, so you always want to pray against whatever he last attacked with. Uh, he is actually swapping me a lot this time, which is unusual, but... Why am I kicking? I don't have a weapon. I'm fucking kicking Dusk. Oh no, and that's how you get another phase. Don't worry, you can stand in that one tile. You are completely safe. Back on the boss. I didn't do his annoying yellow attack or anything in this phase. It's just... This switching attack styles and the prisons. I will do another kill after this because I feel like I was speaking like a fucking auctioneer during that. Oh look, some supplies. Actually help us do another kill. Usually get like, I don't know, four kills in a trip with the invent that I brought. Yes, yeah, so we tend to go to this corner to start with because it's very easy to get under Dusk there and keep him under us. But it's not strictly necessary. You can do the first bit anywhere. The first phase ends when we get Dawn to half, then the first phase against Dusk. You're on melee and move away with the yellow blast. Dodge the falling rocks. Back to dawn. Absorb the energy. Back to dusk. Don't get locked in a prison. Leave your prayer on whatever he last hit you with. That's the basics of it. I will run through at least one more kill here if not two. Straight on dawn with the prayers on. Into the corner. That's the ice ball that she sometimes fires. You don't want to be anywhere near that or you will get frozen and hurt for a lot. You see how he's just like dweebing around. He's just... He doesn't know what to do. He sees a wall and he doesn't know how to get on the other side of us. So we just get to take the piss of him. Gets all confused, and when she moves off, that's how you know it's the next phase. Okay, if you angle your camera like this, it makes it easiest to see the yellow attack when it's coming, because it's on the wing that doesn't exist. I always was looking for this wing to start being yellow rather than looking at this side, but it's on the one that is missing. That's where you want to be looking. Get a couple of specs in. Cheeky. I don't like being trapped in a corner like this. Beautiful. 
see it's very possible to do a lot of this fight without taking dam that much damage if you correctly dodge the attacks and get under dusk when you need to be. That being said, it is not particularly great loot wise, like it's okay, but there's nothing that crazy. You can get like a an upgrade for guardian boots or whatever, but I don't have them. Or Bando's boots into guardian boots. I don't know. And you can get granite mall, but granite mall's garbage. So who cares about that? Wait to get put into the prison, you can't hit him until afterwards, and then get straight out of there. Cheeky spec. He's on melee, we're gonna stay on melee too. Gotta say, I love the zombie axe, it fucking slaps. If you have a whip, that's probably better. Yeah, pretty clean kill there. I will just run one more for those people who want the extra example, but there's not really much more to it other than what I've explained, so this is sort of just purely for demonstration purposes for anyone that wants it. If you feel confident, good luck. <laughs> go give it a go. I hope you are successful and I wish you all the best. Please leave a like on the video before you get out of here and maybe subscribe to the channel as well i have lots of content and series as i post videos every single day so definitely check out the other stuff if you are new around here and let me know in the comments if this guide helped you in any way or if you have any other tips for players that are attempting this boss i know there are other methods like the venator bow method and stacking them that can allow you to get so insanely quick kills i don't have a venator bow and this method works regardless of what your gear is it will just be slower or faster depending on whether your gear is better or worse all right that is the majority of this video i am just gonna do one more kill to close it out Absolutely clown in dusk. Guy's got no spatial awareness. Goes in with a yellow pretty much. Like on the second or third attack every time. There it is. If you do get hit by that, I think it hits like a 40 or a 60 or something and it throws you back which can knock you into the stones which then stun you and you can just get comboed out for a lot so uh, try not to get hit by it. You probably will when you're learning. I did a lot when I was learning. I remember hitting that thing but it's not so bad now I've got used to it. I think I just got hit by an ice ball there. Yeah, so I can't move or attack at the moment. Makes me very vulnerable, but no punishment there afterwards. But yeah, that's what happens if you get caught by the ice ball. It didn't hit me for anything. I don't think that's usual. I think it usually damages as well. And if you don't have the rock smasher perk, all you have to do is use your rock hammer on it when they get to that threshold. It's just recognising when it gets to that threshold that can be a pain, so it's easier if you just automatically know because it does it for you. Two zeros. You mad bro.
And that is how you do the Grotesque Guardians. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Hit that like button as I already said and subscribe to the channel. Check out one hour limit locks or one of my other series is like the leaks for stuff I did. Plenty of fun content out there for you to hopefully enjoy other guide videos too. I, I'm, I'm bad at this not rambling thing and good at the rambling thing. So I'm just going to shut up. Look after yourself. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.